Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here and in this video I'm going over the absolute fastest way to farm red borders in Deepstone Crypt. Nothing else will be faster since we are literally going to be using the fastest strats that exist for each encounter and they also happen to be super easy to use when farming weapons. Real quick, before we get into anything, I did want to first go over the raid rotation, the loot tables for each encounter, and then how to get checkpoints if you need them. If you aren't aware, DSC weapons as of this season are now craftable, meaning you need to farm the raid to earn red borders or buy one red border each week from the final chest, which means the best time to earn these red borders is going to be whenever the raid is the weekly farmable raid. During this first week when I'm uploading the video, Last Wish is farmable, so starting the week of December 20th, which is two resets away, Deep Stone Crypt should be farmable. Either way, a screenshot of the rotation is on screen now. This should always follow the same exact pattern, so no matter when you watch this video, you should be able to determine when DSC will return next. Loot-wise, since you are going to be farming weapons here, these are the encounters where each can be found. First encounter is where you can farm the Trusty, which is the Scout Rifle. Second encounter is where you can farm both Heritage and Succession, which are the Slug Shotgun and Sniper. Third encounter also has Heritage and then also Prosperity, which again are the Slug Shotgun and now the Hand Cannon. And in the final encounter, you have Commemoration and Bequest, which are the LMG and Sword. Lastly, if you guys do find yourself just wanting to farm, say, the final encounter, and you don't feel like running the full raid just to get there, you can grab yourself some checkpoints through my Discord server. Just join through the link in the description below and go to the Checkpoints channel where you can see join codes for different raid encounters where you can snag a CP. Full credit goes out to Luxtruck in the community for these. He has all of them in his very own server, and I just follow the channel that updates the checkpoints so that my server has easy access to them. And there are checkpoints for multiple different raids that rotate through each and every week. With all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the fastest farming methods for each encounter. And also, if this video does help you guys out, make sure to drop a like and sub down below. Starting with number one, which is the security bypass, you can farm this in as fast as probably two minutes. When we load this up, we have one player turn around and go out of bounds, which I'm showing on screen now. Since some players might not feel totally comfortable doing this, if you do the encounter normally with a solid team, it's honestly even faster, but doing this oob just makes callouts easier and makes it more consistent in my opinion. It is best to have a Warlock do this, and then every other player will want a good weapon to bake the fuses. The best option is going to be 4th Horseman, followed by Bastion, then Wardcliff Coil. Xenophage and regular fusion should work well here too, but you might not get a 1 phase. Have the player who does the oob sit right here and kill the Vandal with the scanner right above their head so they can jump up and grab it through the floor. Then have the scanner player call out the four panels to shoot by looking through the floor and then sit right here when doing damage so that you can call out each fuse as soon as it starts glowing yellow. This gives you the most amount of time for damage and when using the right weapons it should go very quickly. Moving on to the second encounter farms which is the Atrax 1 boss fight, literally just run T-Crash Titans with 4th Horseman. Also, make sure to have Curse of the Fallen Star on if you have it, and if you also don't have 4th Horseman, then Parasite the Worm Launcher also works super well here. Literally, just do the encounter like normal, but once these servitors are all dead on the bottom level, just have everybody come up top, then call out the yellow clone to destroy, have everybody T-Crash, then brap Atrax with 4th Horseman. This should be an easy, easy one phase, even with like 4 players, and then all you need to do is finish off the encounter in final stand. For 3rd encounter, there really isn't any great way to speed things up in my opinion, at least that's super easy, so the best ways to farm here are going to just be by spawn trapping adds to progress the encounter as fast as possible. Wither Horde and Anarchy are best for this, and then also focus on shooting the outer panels so that the nukes have a higher chance to spawn in the center. There are some strats that are used in speedruns to make this faster, but like I said, it isn't as easy as the other encounters, so if you guys do want to know those strats, let me know in the comments below. Lastly, for Tanix, as most people are probably aware, you can easily one phase by banking all four nukes at once, and even on a bad run, this should take no more than two minutes. To do this, we just break all of Tanix engines at once to drop all four nukes. Having one Warlock with a Cataclysmic Nova Bomb helps a ton with this, then you just have everybody grab and deposit a nuke, except for the players running Suppressor, like I am in this video, and Operator, because that player needs to shoot the Detain Orb. 
The place you want to deposit are the four boxes that Tanix is not near. So in this instance, we were banking in boxes three, four, five, and six. And then doing this will give you three full phases for damage rather than the normal two. Running slugs and rockets should be the fastest way to bake, along with a divinity and maybe a tether as well. We also had a well of radiance, and the rest of the team was on burst supers like T Crash, so we could bake as soon as he got the final stand. This took us two phases, so even if you are using something like linears, three phases should be more than enough to do it in one set of nukes. And with that, you should now know the absolute fastest way to go about farming red borders or even just random rolls for DSC weapons. Let me know which rolls and weapons you guys are most excited to get first. And I do also stream a bunch over on my Twitch. So if you ever want to stop by and watch some Lomans or even some speedruns live, there is a link to that in the description below. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.